Sim, who taught you the trolley bus song? Uh, Andrew. Yeah, how, how does it go again? Trolley bus, trolley bus, she really likes to make her fuss. About the trolley bus, trolley bus, she really likes to make her fuss. Yeah! And um, Uncle Andrew taught you that song? Yeah. Yeah? What, did he say who it was about? Yeah. Who, who's it about? Sharona. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Simon. It's okay. What troubles me particularly about this whole scenario is that Shemaim actually wrote the script and then forced Simon <laughs> to learn it, which involved, as I think, asking specific questions about how she learned the song and then giving her false information about who it was about and things like that. And that disturbs me because it's a classic example of uh, propaganda. Maya, you know the song Trolley Bus? Yes. Who who taught who taught people that song? Simran. Well, where did Simran learn it from? Her brain. Did you? Uncle and Shemai. <laughs> 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 So, Maya, do you know who that song's about? Yes. Who's it about? Sharona. <laughs> Uncle Andrew. Uncle Andrew taught you the song Trolley Bus. Yeah? Yeah? Point to the man who's... Point, point to Uncle Andrew. Yeah. How, do you remember how the song goes? Yeah. Can you sing it for us? Trolley Bus, Trolley Bus, She really likes to make the fuss. The trolley bus, trolley bus, to make the fuss. Yeah! Yeah? Do you know who that song is about? Sharona. Auntie Sharona. Yeah? And can you just sh can you just tell me one more time who made the song up? Who made the song? Andre. Okay, thank you. Here I am with my two friends over here. Now, they've just told me a very disturbing tale about how, how the world of propaganda has fallen also into the world of bribery and corruption. So Shemaim has been asking, and once again from a script, holding up a piece of paper behind which they, that they read. Not. And they, and they actually were given sweets and ice cream. Oh. As a favour for saying it before, during, and after, whatever it is they said, I don't know what it is they said, but I can't believe it's in my favour. It's just another uh, obvious point of, um, of bringing, bringing the truth further away. Brie, you know the song Trolley Bus, yes? Yes. Have you sung it? Yes. <coughs> how, how does it go? Um, trolley Bus, Trolley Bus. She really likes to make a fuss about her trolley bus, trolley bus. She really likes to make a fuss. Yeah! And uh, who, who taught you that song? Dad. Dad did, yeah? Dad. Did, he, did he teach anyone else that song? Yeah, he taught my three cousins. Yeah? Yeah. Do they seem to enjoy that song? Yeah, they do. Yeah? But I think Dad's hoping they won't sing it in front of my mum. And, um... um um, I will. <laughs> I will. Oh yeah. Who who's the song about? Uh, Mum, Sharona. Do you think it's a bit disrespectful? No. Whoa! Whoa!
Uh, even if this whole conspiracy had an element of truth in it, you know, and there was a psalm that existed before, Shemaim forced them to learn it and gave them rewards for doing so. Even if I had made up a song like that, it would have only been a sign of respect rather than disrespect. And moreover, uh, uh, it was made in, uh, it could have been made if it was made by me in, in, in high jinks. And, uh, and, I, and I think it's been blown out of all proportion because we all acknowledge and, and respect the role of, of the trolley bus itself.